Open MCT10. The MCT10 program opens. Select the online VLT. Click on the plus in front of the VLT. And go on the Safe plugin. On status, you can see the functions you have activated in the live mode. The LED colors showing green, yellow and red, the status of each function. First sheet you select some basic data and you can see the picture beside what it is about. When you have mounted, on encoder TTL or HTL, or proximity switch, then you choose for measured speed source, the safe option. Now you choose the mounted type. If the encoder is mounted directly on the shaft or there is a gear in between. If an encoder is mounted then type in the encoder resolution. Encoder direction you can choose is clockwise or counterclockwise. The feedback type you can choose is with direction info or without direction info. The next two values for feedback filter, you just apply the recommended value if needed. That's only possible to choose if the encoder resolution is low. The zero speed timer, you just let on 8760 hours what means in one year the drive should run faster than 120 RPMs, low demand mode. Also the error code will be shown if a failure is detected. Or no settings are written like here, into the option. In the next sheet, you will choose your functions for digital input 1 and 2. The function on the MCB150R, STO, or SS1, or SLS, which you can choose here. The type you can choose is a NCNC contact behavior, or NCNO, or normal NC. The reset behavior can be set to automatic, or manual. Follow the same procedure for DI2 and go on input settings. On input settings, the first time is how fast the option shall react for example on a broken wire or missing signal. The next time is a time from the component. For example how fast is the reaction or switching. Normally the times are ok to use. You need to choose an external failure reaction. So if there is an unexpected problem or settings are incorrect, it will do the external failure reaction you choose. and also the reset source you choose here. In the next sheet you choose the SS1 settings. You can, as heard before, use a controlled ramp on the MCB150. Or you just do the delay with a time, which also the MCB140 does. With a ramp, you can run it with a slope, which means how many RPM per second it should ramp down. Or just with a time, which means in how many seconds it should ramp down. For the delta V, you just take the preferred value and press on apply. And you type in, a zero speed limit.
In the last cheat you will do your safe limited speed settings. And also set and fail safe reaction. You can choose SLS, with or without ramp. Choose a ramp downtime. Set the speed limit, you want to have for SLS speed. The cutoff speed, you just take the recommended value, and press on apply. The safe failure reaction you can choose is, STO or SS1. The last sheet is only an overview of your parameter settings. But when you write into Drive, you also can get a commissioning report where all safety settings are listed. When you did the setting, then write them into the Drive. The normal password at delivery is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, but it needs to be changed, the first time you program it. There are also possibilities to change password if you know the old one. Or you also can reset but you will need to program it again. After approving and writing the settings into the option, you will get an commissioning report with your setting. I will now shortly demonstrate what we have written into the option. The light curtain is our SLS, and by moving into the light curtain it will ramp down to 150 RPMs. By leaving the area again, it will automatically ramp up again. The emergency stop is our SS1, and by pushing the button, the drive will ramp down, and first by unlock the button and reset on display, it will ramp up again. <laughs> 